Washington, bringing God's word to light ministry, unveiling the future through our vision. The best is yet to come. Proverbs 3.25, let's roll. Thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, good time. We thank God for Jesus. Thank you, thank you. We thank God for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank God for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, let's read. You know, we've been working on the process. Amen? Amen. 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 The process. Mm -hmm. This says I've told some people this hangs up in my house. Um, I've been snatching pictures down, and Bishop's been like, okay, don't keep. Yeah, that's right. Like, where? Everything's going mm -hmm. to the house. And I says, and God spoke to me in the early part of this week about a spirit that I used to really just live in and that I don't live in anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't affect me now. Now, it comes to me, but it doesn't affect me. Okay. See, when you realize who you are, mm -hmm. that's why we keep singing that song. I know who I am. Mm -hmm. When you know who you are, then you begin to understand the power and authority that you have. When you don't know who you are, then you don't know the power and authority you have. And so therefore, your generational curses, your familiar spirits, are able to attack you like if you've ever seen a cat play with a mouse or something. The devil just slap you around. Amen. Because you don't know who you are. I mean, he's not going to tell you. But God keeps trying to tell you. The spirit that I used to have was fear. I had a tremendous generational curse okay. of fear. And it took years in the word for me to begin to understand what was going on. And in the middle of me going through the beginning stages of Deliverance, which means getting free of a demonic spirit. Yes, yeah. Yeah. My mother called and she was crying. She said, I, I want to repent to you. And I said, for what? And she said, because I gave you mm -hmm. a spirit of fear mm -hmm. and worry. Mm -hmm. Fear and worry. Remember, I taught, and some of y'all are newer members, so you, got, you never heard this teaching. But demons run in packs. Yes. Yes. Come on now. Yes. Yeah. Which shows how punk they are. Uh -huh. See, punk packs are punks. Amen. I mean, if you really want to do something, why you ain't step out there on your own? Amen. You know, even in the church, they'll do it. I was watching a documentary about wolves. And, 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 um, was it lions? Lions and wolves run in packs. They do that, right? And they run in packs because they know <coughs> they cannot defeat by themselves. Right. Y'all will catch that, right? That's right. right. That's right. Uh, a demonic spirit knows it can only do one thing. Mm -hmm. And it needs other demonic spirits to attach themselves with them. So you go from one stage to the next to the next. Wow. Yeah. Now, and God was just being I said, okay, Lord, why are you bringing this back to me? And are you seeing something? I always going to check me first. Right. Amen. Um, most Christians check everybody else. Come on, back. I check me first. Yes, and so I said, well, God, are you seeing something that uh, I need to address? Because one thing I know is if you don't address a demonic spirit right away, yes, right. it will come up like poke salad Whoa. and just wrap you and you don't even know you're wrapped. Yeah. Because now you're totally blinded yes, because you're wrapped. Yeah. And what's wrapping you has become you. Amen. 
so I wanted to know, are you seeing something? Okay. And uh, he said, no. He said, I want you to teach. He said, because there is too much worry Amen. and fear Amen. in the body. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. He said, my body is full of worry and fear. Thank you, Lord. So I said, oh, okay. And he said, you're good to teach that because you've been there and done that. Okay. You've got to understand that, first of all, my mother should have repented to me. She should have rebuked the demon. Amen. You know, she didn't say, I'm going to purposely get his gift. She didn't know any more uh, than I knew. Amen? Amen. What she should have done was rebuke demons, mm -hmm. okay. not apologize Amen. for it. All of us are born with generational curses. Amen. Everyone Amen. is born with them. They come from your parents. That's why the Bible says the Bible Bible says. you're born in sin. Yeah. Yeah. You're born in it yeah. and shaped yeah. over time yeah. in iniquity. That's right. yeah. You get better and better at sin. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if mama was a liar, you a liar. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Yeah. If mama was a hoe, you a hoe. If Papa was a rolling stone, you'll find it somewhere. You're a rolling stone. You just can't settle down, commit yourself. To, and see, nobody teaches us. So we really have no... And we keep repeating the same sin. That's what iniquity is. And you have no idea why. Right. So then low self-esteem comes in. Okay. Uh -huh. Help us. Okay. Uh, and you'll find yourself becoming defensive yeah. Yeah. against oh, people. And you will blame them. You'll talk about them. Okay, you'll even lie on them. Oh, uh, you'll gossip when the real issue is you. Yeah. There you go. Say that. Right. And Jesus said, what the second greatest commandment was love your neighbor yeah. as yeah. you love yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And see, what is happening in the earth is Satan has brought in so much low self-esteem to a demonic spirit called rejection. Yeah. And at the root of every demonic spirit <laughs> is a piece of a root of rejection. Yeah. Do, do you know how you take a plant and it's getting too big, they call it, it's going to get root bound. Yeah. 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 So you begin to separate those roots. Yeah. Well, in those roots is a piece of the other root. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Come on now. But it's got its own root now. Y'all yeah. yeah. better hear me spirit. Yeah. Yeah. So rejection begins early in life because the demon rejection knows that he can split off his root uh -huh. and bring in low self-esteem. Uh -huh. Now, once you have a demon of low self-esteem in your mind, okay. now you are a very doubtful person. Uh -huh. Defensive people are very doubtful people. Uh -huh. Defensive people yeah. are very scared people. Uh -huh. If you're defensive, you're very and gossipers are very scared people. Uh -huh. See, they really don't want the light on yeah. themselves. Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Somebody else. Uh -huh. Yeah. So they will throw the light on somebody else. Uh -huh. So you're not really looking at them. Uh -huh. And then they will pull a pack. Even in the church, they will pull people. They've got to have their little clique. Uh -huh. They've got to have their little group. And they will come together as a pack. Yeah. Remember we just talked about a pack. Uh -huh. That's right. Because they know they cannot win you over by themselves. themselves. Uh -huh. So rejection, if you just think about your life, somewhere in there as a child, uh -huh. rejection came to you. Yeah. Yeah. It's either through your parents, Hallelujah. You know, and it's true. We set up a crazy system in that we try to we make children believe that adults are perfect. 
But mama and daddy were born in sin. Yeah. Yeah. Mama and daddy were shaped yeah. or continued on, yeah. in sin. Yeah. Okay? You can love mama and daddy, but you also need to face truth. Yeah. And the truth yeah. is we're all damaged yeah. from the moment of birth. Yeah. We are damaged because we come from damaged people. Yeah. And then what the devil does with that is make you feel hurt and pain because mom and daddy ain't perfect. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he'll carry that and make that a major until it's like a gall of bitterness, the Bible says, uh -huh. inside of you. Uh -huh. And it's eating away at you naturally, spiritually, and mentally. But And saints are so phony. Uh -huh. See, that's thing the devil has done. The devil has called us, caused to buy, perverted the word. Uh -huh. Because... You know, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And, you know, so we became phony. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So when someone said, how are you? Oh, I'm blessed and uh, I'm uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh. And prospering every day. How are you? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm no. able because if I say, I'm not doing well, I'm hurting over this. Well, wait, what's wrong with you? Uh, Come yeah. on now, I'm human. <laughs> Instead of dealing with that humanness, yeah. we teach, we taught, be phony. Oh. So people, and the devil loved it. Amen. The devil loved it because now you're hiding. Uh -huh. oh, oh, and demons grow in darkness. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Instead of saying, uh, we had a young man. One day speak, and oh God, did he lie. He lied on the school, he lied on me. And his mom came in and she was all upset and hysterical. And I just told him, I said, now tell your mom the truth. Well, I learned, he told his mom he hadn't learned anything in school, that we weren't teaching anything. And before, and she was like, mm -hmm. but you told me you couldn't do any of this homework because they hadn't taught you. So how now are you answering pastor? Uh -huh. This wow. is the morning after the night that you told me you didn't know. Yeah, that's what I felt like doing, uh -huh. knocking right in the phone. He humiliated his mother. I know that's right, but. She, she was just, her mouth fell off. She was like, but you said, uh -huh. uh, and then he told her he had to get on the internet for his science. But he stood right there and told her the answer. She said, so. Why did you need to get on the internet? Uh, All you had to do was write what you just told. But you told me you lied to me and you... Yeah. Uh -huh, come on now. now she's embarrassed She's because well, she had went off on me. Well, went uh -huh. off. Listening to him. Uh -huh. And I watched him so later on, I was talking about how children hurt their parents. Oh, and you know, to, to, to his class, and I said, you know, it's just sad that parents sacrifice all that they do, and children manipulate yeah. them and use them yeah. after all they have to go through. And um, I said to him, no, in the lobby, I said to him, I have to tell you minister to him because stand up because she has a lot of this same testimony that he was going through. He's adopted and da 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 da. And I said to him, I said, if you're hurting, why don't you say so? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Wow. And his eyes began to tear up. And I said, just say it. Amen. You're hurting. Why was I born to this, to that mama, to that daddy? Why did I go through what I went through? Lord, the bad part about it, I told him, I said, but somebody adopted you. Uh, yeah. That's right. Thank you. Oh, that person. Right. Right. They didn't lay up and have sex and, oh my goodness, I'm pregnant. Uh -huh. They handpicked you yeah. to love, sacrifice, and yeah. raise. Yeah. But you're so yeah. focused on your drug addicted mother and that you don't know who your father is that you're missing the blessing. Uh, yes. you, so, but right, see, that's what you'll right. do. Yeah. 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 You focus so much on a negative uh -huh. till now you are wrapped and packaged up yeah. for the devil. Uh -huh. okay. Help us. Help us. Right. And all of this worry, rejection, 
brings worry. Uh -huh. Rejection brings fear. Uh -huh. And if you just be honest with you, you have to be honest with me. I got to live. I got mine. I'm trying to bless you. Okay. Uh, and you can play the phony Christian game and it's fine with me and go round right out the door. Uh -huh. You know, and be miserable. I'm living a blessed, happy, peaceful life. And you see how hard that stuff, it's ugly, isn't it? Yeah. What's coming off of him. Look how he's fighting. It's not like, oh well. Uh -huh. It was in the bathroom. And a little girl was in the bathroom, and she was trying to pull up her pants, and she was just... And it got, while I'm standing there, I'm seeing this. Mm -hmm. See, that's standing in the spirit. She was struggling to get them off. He is struggling to fight against the darkness that has covered his life. The process. This is an exact picture of the process. Fear comes from rejection. Mm -hmm. I can remember thinking, my father, my real father walked out on me, so he did, walked out on my mama. They were married, but he walked out. Um, I was born illegitimate, so the world says, but I was legit, too legit to quit for no kidding. They married after I was born. Then he left her. Um, my mother, was the other woman because he was married. Uh, then I found out my stepfather was my stepfather and not my real father because they had lied and said that was my real father and changed my name. So, and my mother kept saying it was my fault she got kicked out of the military because she got pregnant come on by down. my dad she was Say pregnant that. out with. And if I hadn't come along, she could have stayed in the military. Hmm. Something's wrong with me. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Something's wrong with me. I can remember that thought. Jesus. It's like out here somewhere now, honestly. But I can remember when that was a part of me. Mm, mm, mm. Um, my totally. Lord, my Lord. Mm. Something is wrong with me. When your mother don't want you, she your father don't me. want you, something, something's wrong with me. Rejection had come. From rejection came fear and worry. Worry and fear kind of run together. Because now you're not sure of anything. That's when and doubt says, I'm here. Yeah. If you're not sure about who you are, where you come from, what's going on, who I am, that's why that song is so important. I know who I am. See, you can be born again, yeah. but you're still in the former conversation, <laughs> in your mind. Yeah, you're right. still in this part of you. And notice, this and the earth are the same. That's right. My God. That's right. Showing sure up. That's right. Because this is where you come from. Your ship. This is what messed us up. Uh -huh. The natural. The na but you're still in the former conversation of the old guy. So you're born again, but because you either don't know, haven't been taught, or not accepting, because that's another trick. Amen. Come on. Come on, born again, new man, right. Lord have mercy. That sounds good, but you know you. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. Say that fast. You know who you are. You know where you're at. So if you reject it, and the natural mind is going to reject that because it doesn't make sense Amen. to the natural mind. So you're going to get stuck in the former conversation of your mind, which is full of rejection, yes. fear. See, grown folk, 
Children will say I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Grown folk won't. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And I know more and more why God said we have to Amen. come like little children. We are so caught up in the mass. That's right. In the phony projection out here. Mm -hmm. Because we've been rejected and we're so afraid that our word is again of being rejected. So anything that comes to our life that feels like rejection. Uh oh. Here comes fear. Here comes doubt. Mm -hmm. And the devil says, gotcha. I got you. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm going to get you. And you'll go to church, ministry, and you'll go home, yeah. and you'll be the same. I want you to understand something. And while I'm talking, go to 1 Corinthians 2.14. <laughs> The more you make decisions, oh, and I want to say this before I go here. Every, every demon I just named is wrapped up in the emotional part of your mind. All right. All right. All right. Teach Amen. Remember I taught you guys, well some people weren't here, but I taught you guys that you don't see with your eyes. You see with your mind. God is so awesome, and they created cameras from this. When your eyes see something, it has no conscience of what it is. I'll give you an example. People who have Alzheimer's. People that have Alzheimer's will look at that keyboard, and they will see... Because the mind has broken off pieces in the brain that are now causing the wrong messages to go out. The brain has on the top of it, laying on top of the brain, it's extension cords. Okay. They're called neurons. And they're sending off electric shocks all the time. Zip, 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 zip.